What's up? My name is Janna and welcome to my channel. Come on in, have a seat. Have some tea. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Ivy Paradise. Listen, first of all, this is my favorite colorway of all. Monogram, pink, pink everything, please. I'm in the pink mood right now. So, you know, we had to get it. So what I ordered? A sequin bikini, a gender neutral tank top, cropped crystal set, a sarong, full swimsuit with a shrug, male shirt cover-up, the sequin must-have jacket, a towel, bucket hat, and this sequiny throw-on shirt. As usual, my sizing measurements and all the information is in the description box below, but just so you know, as usual, I'm 5'7", so 171 centimeters tall. I am UK 10, which is a US 6, I figured. And this part of me is wider than the bottom, so usually this is an M while the bottom is an S, and if I'm taking a one-piece situation, then in order to accommodate the, the width, I take an M. Let's start with the bikini, shall we? So out of a couple that were there, they were really, really pretty, including velvety one piece with a bow, super pretty swimsuits. I got this one with sequin because like I told you, I really love the monogram. I really love pink. It's my color of life. And I had no idea that they go really well together. And as you can see, it's like, it really is the idea of the collection that you can rock it from the pool to the party and it's really meant to do that it's really shiny it's I, I really love it and it has a polka dot inside I guess you can do it reversible and wear it but I wouldn't I'm not really into polka dots but I think you can definitely do it it kind of looks like you can there's nothing stopping you I really love the swimsuit out of all I think it's the most practical what's the right word the most wearable situation while everything else is again up to you but this is just the one that i really liked and just to pair it with the bucket hat we got like a regular bucket hat that we i think always have in all of the drops it's reversible and it is truly reversible because here we have a monogram and here we have Ivy Park logo on the top. I think we had it in green. I think we had it somewhere in the drops because I saw people in this bucket hats, but in another colorway. So it really goes with whatever you get from the collection because it's pink and it's monogram. And this is how I styled it with the bikini. Next piece is a gender neutral tank top and you can see that it still has tags on it because this is an extra small as usual you know that gender neutral we're supposed to kind of size down because it is more skewered towards male sizing so I got an extra small and it's fine you will see on the pictures you will see on the video clips it is perfectly fine but what I'm wondering is it's kind of short because on the model it completely covers her butt and even goes lower but to me it barely covers it and I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why and I looked at the pictures on the website and it was longer so I'm wondering if a small will be longer or wider but don't get me wrong I think it's wonderful I would definitely be rocking it because it is very kind of simple to throw on with anything really any su swimsuit you have I also have a Mugler and H&M swimsuit that's bomb off top and I'm thinking it's black so you can absolutely throw this on and it will be bomb so this really goes with everything I really like it this is how I rock it Now, one of the most beautiful pieces of the collection, in my opinion, is this crystal sarong. 
I already removed all the tags because I am keeping it no matter what. The only thing is, you know me, I'm all about wearability. Will I be wearing it? I don't know because it's kind of same as the tank. You know what I mean? Like you just throw this on and you go and the same with this, you just wrap it around and you go, you know, it's like the same concept. But when I saw that it has an Adidas and Ivy Park logo in crystals, in pink and white, I, listen, I, even if I'm not gonna wear it, it's just gonna be there as a staple piece just to kind of lay over the towel or something because it's just, it looks fantastic. I really love this crystal color. You see, it's pink with a bluish undertone. So it's really, really pretty. It really looks like a, a highlighter or Fenty Beauty that's called What a Breath. Check it out, it's bomb. It's just, it's, the color is incredible. And whenever I was walking to film the clips today and I looked at myself in the mirror of an elevator, it was incredible. This shine, can you imagine it in the evening when the light hits? <gasps> This is just incredible. And because this is like a multi-way situation, you can wrap it around your waist and do like a little skirt. You can do like a little dress like that, or you can wrap it even around your head. This is how they showed you to wear this. So there's really multi ways of wearing this, but I, I tell you, look at this. I, this is just to me so pretty. I can just look at this for hours, but uh, we're not gonna do that because we're gonna look at how I'm styling it. I just mentioned wearability to you and here comes uh, this. So, <laughs> first of all, this is incredible. The same crystal that is uh, pinkish, bluish and white. So incredible. What's also really interesting is that they have this three stripes on the sleeves that are white. It's, it's just incredibly beautiful. And my idea is, was and is to wear this to the Renaissance World Tour when it's coming to my city in August. So this is my idea to wear it. And I honestly got it simply to go to the Renaissance store just because I don't see myself wearing this otherwise. But what you have to know is, of course, you see it's like mesh, completely see-through. So it's, it goes on the bikini, on whatever. But you know what I just figured out? I was trying to sell a rodeo beige set of a bra and leggings and it just hit me, then this set goes underneath this one perfectly and it stops being see-through. So what I'm saying is, if, you, if this is too see-through for you and you still wanna rock it somewhere or go to the party and just showing off bikini underneath is too much for you, buy like a nude beige top and leggings and just throw it on top. I tell you, look at the picture, it's like, it, <laughs> It's incredible. I'm so glad that this set hasn't hasn't sold because it's such a great idea and it looks bomb just how I like it. So just think about this. The only problem that we have with this is length because on all of the pictures and videos, I'm in this heels. So this is Mango Versace dupes, let's say, and this is still going over them and underneath. And I'm 5'7", by the way, so this will be very, very long. It's just impossible to walk in this, in these heels, because you're constantly stepping on stones and there's like a sound of them crashing. Nothing happened, but it's just this, this sound that you're making because it's very long. So I'm just trying to figure out how to cut it. Like you can't, can you just cut it by yourself with scissors? Because it's just like a knit with crystals, but then there's, this part, I don't know. So I'll try to go get it maybe to a tailor and have a look if she can do it, just because I, I wanna wear it, but it's just way too long. You will see. But this is my Renaissance World Tour fit. Thank you, Beyonce, that's right on time with a cowboy hat. I hope I will stand out and say, Louis. <laughs> If you're 
still watching right now, hit a like button, subscribe. I know you're still watching, right? Come on, like the video. To finish with the pinks, we have this staple piece that's incredible. First of all, when I put it on in Adidas store in New York, and here is the wheel in my Instagram, have a look. I was not expecting that these, how do you call them, fringe? What's the, what's the right word? That they are also made of sequin, and the sequins are of such high quality. It reminds me of the Park Trail collection. Remember when we had the camo sequin? And it's all sued. So when you have your hair back for the long haired people out there, it's not gonna get in your hair. You know what I mean? It's because it's very, it's sued and they're not standing up like this. You know what I mean? So it really looks again really wet and like it's liquidy and mermaidy situation. Again, knowing me, your question is where the hell am I wearing this? I don't know. My idea was to Renaissance World Tour, but whenever I put this on the crystal pants, they don't really go together in my opinion. Look, you see, it is the same color though, it is. So maybe it's because the pants are very thin and see-through even on top of leggings like I did it. And this is more thick. Maybe that's why they don't kind of fit together. This feels like very heavy, you know what I mean? And this is very light on, underneath. So I'm not sure how they go together. Plus this is polyester, so it's kind of hot and it gets really hot here where I'm at in August. So I don't know if this will make the cut to go to the Renaissance World Tour, but I just cannot not get it, you know what I mean? And I removed the tag, so I'm keeping that. My only problem with every Ivy Park uh, is bottoms. I ordered the sequin shorts just like yesterday because when I tried them on in the store, I just felt like, like, where am I going in this? Like this shorts with this fringe, where am I going in this? But then wearing this without any bottoms, is I don't know you can throw it on white jeans although so this may work but I also ordered shorts that are on the way but you saw them all over Instagram and all the reels I might keep them just because like you just throw them on and you go with any bodysuit be it white be it pink whatever so they might make the cut to go to festivals to go to the beach to even run for coffee being extra maybe so maybe i'm getting the shorts and keeping them and this situation I, I just gotta have it for even collection reasons now as usual the quality is incredible because you have this rubber runner that says ivy park you have another ivy park logo right here it's just made really really well and ivy park in adidas is my most complimented outfits ever i go to work in them i go out in them i go to the gym in them every time they are the most complimented the quality is incredible i i've been telling y'all and all my friends that are also into ivy park on instagram how you doing we've been telling y'all that it's bomb we've been telling y'all so have a look at what i'm doing with this sequin jacket monogram situation this swimsuit that can technically also be pink this is a reversible one full swimsuit with a monogram on the outside and pink situation on the inside this still has tags because I ordered a small and a medium but as usual I tell you whenever there is a full body situation I have to accommodate the width of the shoulders and the chest so I just size up to M and you know, it's, sometimes it doesn't really work because for example, swimsuits should be tight in order to get in the water and then they loosen up. While when I got an AM on, it was kind of loose, but better as usual. 
So on the video you're about to see, it's gonna be a small, and it's it looks all right, it looks all right, but it's just very tight in the area as usual. So I think I'm keeping size medium, and I really like the full suits versus the bikinis in general, just because I kind of feel you're snatched. I think that you look like a doll. I really love how the full swimsuits look in general. So this is a situation with a shrug. With what to do with the shrug? I have no idea. I'm not even trying this on for you. I showed you this in a reel. I kind of look like a weird cosmonaut. Why would I wear this? I don't know. Although it's good for the arms to be covered because I have a lot of moles and it's very dangerous to expose them to the sun. So I'm never out in the sun. I'm never tanning. I'm always with a, uh, something covering my back, but it looks really pretty. I think I can wear this as a bodysuit to let's say for let's say this throw on short or the male shirt. So I really think that we can make it work and it can be pink, it can be uh, monogram, just like the bucket hat. So, I am keeping this because I think it works. And then we also have um, all of the logos everywhere on the back. So plus it's full monogram. We like monogram. This is how it looks like on me. Now this male, it says, but really gender neutral. Um, throw on shirt how do you call this I got it honestly to go to work because I really want to have something in monogram to go to work in the summertime so I'm gonna just be going to work with white jeans underneath like right now you're seeing this so I think it really works the quality is really poolside you know what I mean like it's really this swimsuit material it's not like this pajama or you know satin situation feel it really feels like a swim wear cover-up but that's you know I don't care I don't mind I think it really works I like it this is in a size extra small because again gender neutral so I'm going to pair this with either the regular white jeans or some pieces that we had from IC Park for example I have a mini skirt from IC Park in a monogram now I'm thinking maybe we can get something in monogram from Icy Park, like leggings to throw it on top. So let's see, again, like I always tell you, my problem is bottoms. I should probably have gotten male shorts in monogram. So that way it would have matched and I would have had like, you know, um, a full situation. I'm still looking at it to for people to return so I can cop it. So. I'm thinking about it of being a set. If not, then this, any jeans, I think it will work. I think it's wonderful. This is how it looks like. the final thing that I got is the sequin also throw on shirt and you know what's interesting this is extra small while this is not gender neutral so it's supposed to be smaller but probably it's oversized you see where the shoulders are so it's really a perfect size so I this is a great addition to my collection another problem as I told you is the bottoms I didn't take the sequin leggings because I'm not gonna go out all sequiny anywhere so this throwing this as something extra like a spicy you know what I mean on this again white jeans or shorts or something like that this can work as an extra spice this is definitely staying again monogram you see a little version then the zoomed in monogram and a very weird situation is happening on the back because this is this polka dot in beige and brown. Why? I don't... I, why couldn't it be these two patterns? I really understand and I like this trend of, you know, combining and combinable two pieces together. But like the polka dots, why? I, we don't have them anywhere. I mean, I guess in here you can do but but no so i don't know why the polka dot on the back i kind of think it makes it look cheaper a little bit but that's my opinion again who am i a person from the internet 
this is an extra piece i'm keeping this i think it looks bomb again the sequins you see are sewed in very tightly and close to each other so nothing stands up so you can you see nothing happens nothing catches my hair so that's a problem that's a problem for long hair people so i'm really grateful for that this really is a work situation for me a go out situation with a mini skirt with anything this is but definitely not least the freaking towel listen the towel is amazing go get it right now because it's just first of all pink mm -hmm. second of all it says ivy park right here mm -hmm. so i mean it's big it's fluffy it's just to lay on your uh, sunbed listen get the towel it's incredible i think it was the first to be sold out huh. come on pink ivy park adidas logos come on yo man this is that's it this is it in conclusion I think it's the first time I'm not sending anything back. I ordered a couple of more sizes for things that I was not sure in, but I think I'm keeping them all. Maybe I'll be selling something somewhere, but I'm not planning to. You know why? Because as I'm in America now, I really plan to go to festivals. I really want to go to Coachella next year. If not next year, then the year after next, doesn't matter. So I'm thinking this is like, these, these are the perfect Coachella fit. Like this is Coachella 101 or any other festivals or going to a resort to wherever. Like I really feel that this is wearable. So I really think that all of this is being kept first time ever. No, maybe I'm lying. Maybe park trail as well and rodeo as well. I'm mean, no, yeah, I've, I've kept a lot. I've kept a lot. <laughs> but I tell you, I'm just like a bird. I see crystals. I see them in pink and blue, and my mind just stops working. I'm like, I. That's why this collection spoke to me, and I'm so sure that I will be receiving more compliments with this again. I. I just think it's bomb. It's bomb again. I. To me. It doesn't miss. The only thing again that I know of is that we had this separation of collections again, Europe and the United States. My friends in Europe said they had half, which is just so not fair. And it's upsetting to many of my friends who are loving Ivy Park as much as I do. So I just wish that this was available to everyone, whoever wants to get it also have you noticed that in brazil they had some extra pieces like a coat or beyonce's dress that she wore that's also incredible i just i wish everybody had everything just so that we can all be on the same page and be sharing this love and joy of loving what beyonce does and adidas and ivy park collabs all together so i hope this is happening and i hope this is coming in the future so this is it for me. Thank you so much, girls and guys who have stumbled across my channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Please highlight that like button with your thumb for me, and I will see you super soon in another video. Bye, guys.